I say that? But he never wanted to be a villain. No matter what he wanted, we have to remember that he is the villain now. If Cory is zero, then who on earth was the hooded figure who planted the bomb? Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's all ten. Let's go. I knew you'd come for me, Grace. <laughs> My name isn't Cory. Cory is dead. I'm zero. Hey guys, it's Gabriella and welcome back to another episode of Glitch Girl. I am so, oh my gosh, after last episode, I just can't. So if you have not seen it, make sure you go check it out and click the i right up there or the link is down below in the description. It was so crazy, but if you are new to my channel, welcome. I post awesome videos all throughout the week and we are also just one big amazing family here and I would love for you to be a part of it. So make sure you subscribe so you can join the family. Okay, <laughs> let's see what's gonna happen because I'm just really confused because we found out that Corey is actually zero, not Eliza, but then like, um, hello? Well, who was I texting? Was I actually texting Corey or was Corey like trying to lure me there to kill me because he thought that I said that he should die when I said no such thing, Eliza put words in my mouth. So let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> um, episode 14, truth and lies. Okay. But like, also this is like episode 14. Where are the other episodes, Joseph? <laughs> no. It can't be! Cory is zero?! What on earth?! <gasps> I thought he'd left the building, but he came back to find me and just got hit by the blast like I did! Eliza isn't zero, but she turned Cory into zero. She brainwashed him with her talk about hierarchy. She made him believe that society was to blame, but it was just her and her warped power mad idea of reality! I can't believe she had his family killed. Oh my gosh, the baby. That poor new baby. And then she lied to him about me. She told him I said let him die. Of course I wouldn't say that. I would never say that. I never even saw Eliza during the recovery program. Someone else looked after me. She was too busy taunting Corey. Of course Corey went psycho. Having all that happen is enough to turn anyone into a villain. But there are so many things that don't make sense. If Corey is zero, then who on earth was the hooded figure who planted the bomb? Oh, I didn't even think about that. It was clearly Eliza. The purple pendant definitely belonged to her. She must have caused the explosion so she could set her six zero hierarchy into motion. But it was Corey who told me about the necklace via messages. Why was he helping me? He must have known that if finding out the truth, it would lead us to him. It's the typical behavior of a villain. Half of him... What if Seth was the one who set up the bomb so that way he could start the, like, being a superhero? Half of him wants to stay mysterious. Half of him wants to show off how he duped us all. He's a textbook villain. But he never wanted to be a villain. No matter what he wanted, we have to remember that he is the villain now. We can't treat him softly. He has to pay for his actions. What he's about to do to the city is evil. And evil acts are only committed by evil people. Do I agree? Yes, he's evil. He's not evil deep down. No, he is broken. He literally was held captive against his will. Someone killed his entire family and then told him it was his fault because he wasn't like special enough. Like he clearly just need help. He's not evil deep down. Eliza twisted his mind. But no matter what, we have to stop this cataclysm. And that means finding out where he is. Guys, there are no reports of that boy leaving that area. What are you saying? The basement facility hasn't been used for anything since that recovery program. Oh my gosh, he's still down there? All this time, Zero has been right in Electro Bit? Directly underneath us? We have to go down there, right now. Oh wait, that's Seth. <laughs> yeah, I need to speak to him right away. Speak to him? Grace, this is Zero we're talking about. You need to attack him. No, Seth, I need to tell him the truth. He needs to know that Eliza was lying, that I didn't say let him die, and that society isn't to blame for what Eliza did to him. He'll just overpower me with his abilities. The only way to get him to take his finger off the cataclysm trigger is to talk to him. We're superheroes, Grace. That's not the way we deal with things. That's the way we have to deal with this. I don't think he's going to want to talk. You're right. He probably won't. But I have to try. Wait, what if I go down there wearing the same dress I was wearing that night? It would remind me of the happiness of that night before the explosion. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it might make him remember the girl he fell for. 
That actually might work. I could teleport that dress on you right now. No, that seems really weird. On second thought, it might just anger him. Yeah, okay, like... <laughs> I'll wear something plain and simple instead. Can you teleport something onto me? What is wrong with what I'm wearing? Sure. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, let's go. Follow me. <laughs> I still feel like, like, I don't, like, wait, okay, so when he was texting and he was like, wait, this is Corey's girlfriend. Was it not actually? Like, I'm just like trying to think how this would all work. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> was Seth the one? No, Seth was... Could Seth have been Corey texting me or was Corey actually texting me and then like needed an excuse as to why he couldn't come to see me? Like what? Like I just don't get it. <laughs> There's no trace of him or anything that happened here. It doesn't make any sense. He has to be hiding here somewhere. Are there any storage rooms? Anything we haven't checked already? No, the only storage room is behind you and I already checked there. Let's check again. Let's just be sure. Okay. Like I said, there's nothing here. Where does that fire exit lead? I wouldn't worry about that. It's been out of use for years. I think it used to lead to the bottom of a subway station, but the station's closed now and nobody's been able to open the door since. I imagine there's just rubble on the other side. No, that's not being held shut by rubble. There's some kind of force. It's really strong. I can feel it emanating from the door. It's repelling me. It's the same energy I use to glitch things. It's Corey! He's been using his mind to keep it shut all that time! He's in the abandoned subway station! Can you use your powers to open the door? I hope so. I better get out of your way. <laughs> it feels like there are waves, and some of these waves are stronger than others. I need to break through the weaker ones. What the heck? Am I just like... After you, Grace. <laughs> the door just slammed behind me. Call for Seth. Go on alone. Now let's let you know. Let's sleep, Seth. Bye. <laughs> I knew you'd come for me, Grace. <laughs> Corey, I could sense you on the other side of that door. What should I say to him? You evil scum! Eliza lied to you. No, Eliza lied. Eliza lied to you. She wrapped your mind. You're not going to stop me, Grace. Corey, look at me. My name isn't Corey. Corey is dead. I'm zero. She drummed that into you. You are not zero. You're more than a number, Corey. You're a human being. You told Eliza to let me die. No, I didn't. Eliza didn't come see me at all. I swear I never saw Eliza during the entire recovery program. I would never say that. Of course I wouldn't. Corey, please, you have to call off this cataclysm. Deep down, you're not this evil person. What Eliza did to you and your family is horrific, but you can't let it turn you into a monster. If that happens, she won. You don't understand, Grace. It's already happened. There's no going back now. Society's collapse is upon us. You're too late. What are you saying? I sent the glitch out 10 minutes ago. The cataclysm has begun. <laughs> So now we have to wait for more episodes and oh my goodness, oh, what is going to happen? And do you guys think we're going to like convince Corey to like not kill everyone? Like, I don't even know. So I guess we'll have to find out together. So make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on so you can know as soon as the next video is out. But until then, check out the awesome videos on the screen to keep yourself entertained and I'll see you guys later for a brand new video. Bye!